Hey guys, it's me Leah, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I'm so sorry for not posting. We have just been really busy, and um, we we just haven't been on our normal schedule with posting. So I'm super sorry about that. Um, you'll probably see some more videos on my channel soon, but um, let's not worry about that because this video is about something way other subject. So um, this video is actually about animals. <laughs> Um, so, um, you probably recently saw the new YouTube video we posted on Sunday on Finisca and Leah about our new pets. So, um, you may be wondering, where in the world is Leo, the leopard gecko I got a few days ago, I'm pretty sure. So, about that, um, this is probably, like, the most difficult decision I've ever done, um, I was just having a really hard time taking care of him. He was not eating, he was running away from me. I couldn't even like touch him. He would like bite me or like run away. And the weirdest part about that is that like I got a huge rash on my back. It's probably from allergies, but I don't know what. So um, this is probably like, we con contacted PetSmart and they said, leopard geckos aren't really the pet for me because First of all, I'm kind of allergic to them. Um, like, I was so scared that she wasn't, she, uh, he was gonna get sick because he wasn't eating at all. He was like totally scared of me. Like, he wouldn't even like move out of the same place. He would just hide all day. Um, so this is like the most difficult decision I've ever made. I was, oh. I was crying, crying like all day because I felt so guilty. Um for like giving up and stuff and when i made that decision about returning leo that was like the saddest decision i've ever done but um i think you're ready to meet my new animal i'm still thinking of leo till this day i still miss him a lot but meet daisy she's my new bearded dragon she's only a tiny baby um, I still miss Leo a lot, but I feel like she's better for this family. Um, here's her little tank. We're gonna upgrade it soon, but since she's still a tiny baby, it's only 20 or 30 gallons. So, um, I'm actually gonna show you guys how I care for Daisy. I don't know if she's a girl or boy yet. She's way too young to tell, but, um, she kind of trusts me now. Because I had her for a few days. But I'm really excited till she gets big. Cause like, and she I, already shed her skin? Yeah, she already shed it. She's probably going to start shedding again. She's like rubbing herself into my arms. So, um, she's dancing. Okay, so I'm going to show you how um, I feed her, actually. Um, I'm starting to get the hang of it, but first I'm going to let her go into her. Hey, no! I need to feed you! Okay, let's get my little crickets. Here are my crickets. Okay. Um, girl, you kind of need to come here. Excuse me. Come on. Oh, where did she go? Oh, did she just... That's like a cricket there. Come on, come here. No, don't... Okay. What are you doing? Okay. Girl, you need to... You need to eat. You haven't ate in like hours. Come on. You're just going to your best thing spot. Okay, come here, girly patootie. Okay, and so we call her here. Oopsie Daisy. Yeah, we call her Oopsie Daisy. Because that's like the uh, really like popular phrase that everyone uses. So let's open up the crickets. Mom, you might want to sit down because you're kind of afraid of crickets. Oh, she's such a little head. Are you ready to eat? Okay, let's get these crickets. I'm super scared of crickets too. Um, I'm not like scared of them. I'm only scared if they touch me. Because, first of all, I do not like how they feel. And they're just, like, creepy. I know they're, like, useless, but... Look, can we eat? Ugh, get off my little spatula. Okay, <laughs> spatula. She just ate. Okay, let's get another cricket. Ah, uh, I'm really bad at catching them. Come here. Ah, uh, that was a close one. No! Dude! Okay, yay, I got one. I'm barely holding her, okay. Here you go. Do it. 
Yay, good job. Now I feed her like, um, maybe like 10, 20, 30 crickets every day. Um, let's feed her a few more. Ah! Oh jeez, please don't fall, please don't fall. I could tell this one is a crazy one, so it's probably gonna jump all over the cage. Come here, just look at it. I knew it, I knew it. Go get it, it's right there, look, go get it. Go get it. Good job, she's so good at catching food. Okay. Oh, and I was so scared because the first like day I got her, she wasn't eating at all. I think it was just because she was shedding. Oh, this one's a huge one, I'm not getting that one. Like, she likes big crickets, but I'm just scared it's gonna escape and, like, I'm gonna sleep with the cricket, but... Oh, this one's huge, too. Okay, I'm gonna just... <laughs> wow! <laughs> this is the first time she ate almost Yeah, she, she never... She never eats from my little tweezers. Come on. Eat it! Dude! <laughs> Yeah. Did it jump out? Yes. Oh my god. It's right there. <laughs> you better find it. It's under. Did you get it? No. Oh my god! Okay, that was so scary, but we're just gonna help me like feed her because um And she found the cricket. Yeah, she found the cricket. Oh, I just saw something jumping over there. Did you lose another one? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so, like, that's why I feed her, I guess. But now I'm going to show how I play with her and stuff. Um, I know it's super weird, but I still have to play with her. So, first I take her out of her basking spot. I just pet her, and I kind of pick her up from underneath, let her, like, climb over my hands. Um, I make sure her, like, color is like light and normal because if it's dark that means they have to go bask for a while more so i always go on my bed i just let i just put her on my leg and let her explore everywhere um she loves going on to this um this little chinchilla thing look she loves going on to it it's so fluffy and I have so many pictures of her, but my phone's dead, sadly. Um, so she just likes sitting on here, chilling on my bed, watching TV with me, and it's just super cute. <laughs> Aww. So, um, I guess that's how I play with her. Um, and I actually haven't bathed her yet. I only had her for a few days, so I don't really need to bathe her. But I did clean her cage. I'll tell you guys how I do that. So, um, first I like take off the lid. Here, I'll just put her right here. And I'm gonna like kind of demonstrate a little. I'm not gonna actually clean her cage though. Stay there. So first I take off the lid um, because I have to like get all the big hives out. So then I like take everything off. I put everything on my desk. Um, I take all the de uh, decorations off, put them on my bed, let, let her like I put her on my bed too and like let her go into the highs. Then I um, take like an old toothbrush, paper towel, anything, and I scrub down the hides to get all the germs off. Then I take the flooring, I like shake it um, so all like the things come off. Then I take everything off and I take like a wet paper towel, go on the little like bottom glass thing. I get all like the dead insects like the dirt like everything so then i like put everything back and that's how i clean her cake and fresh water and yeah fresh water and fresh food i put some calcium and every single food she doesn't eat for a while i put in her little food bowl but i make sure it's dead because i don't want um because i don't want crickets in her cage oh she just licked me i thought she was gonna bite me Hi Daisy. And she's so tiny. She's like. But she's very funny. She's like, if you don't know, she's like this big. Like not including her tail, but like her body's this big. Including her body, she's like this big. Including her tail. Boop. 
She's so cute. Okay, come into my hand. Come in, girl. Come in. One little chin rub. Okay, I love her so much. Um, I love playing with her and beating her. It's like so satisfying. But come on, girl. I just scoop her up to pick her up. Like I don't like. Sometimes when she's on basking, I like like scoop her up like this. But when she's like on my bed, I just go like. Or she just climbs on me <laughs> like that. So I just love her so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I miss Leo so much. And comment down below if you have any sorts of reptile like I do. Um, I think I made a really good decision on getting a reptile because reptiles are like so cute. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go subscribe to my channel and go subscribe to Fendesca and Lena and officially Fendesca, that's my sister's channel. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. And go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share. And thank you guys so much for watching. Love you. Bye.